Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Now, good morning, everybody. We're looking a little humid outside here on this Wednesday. We made it to the middle of the week, so that's pretty nice. Also, pretty nice is you don't have to get any chapstick today because you can see the halos around these lights are a little bit larger than average. Thanks to the West Texas State Bank weather cam, we've got a good live look at those conditions outside. And we've also got a lot of cloud cover out there right now. Going along with that humid theme, we're seeing a lot of humidity at the higher parts of the atmosphere, and that is turning into those clouds. In some places, actually giving us a little bit of shower activity right now. You can see that tracking off to the east, moving in to Pecos, is kind of dissipating as it goes. These are very, very tiny showers. So if you do get caught in one, if a shower pops up overhead, likely not to last too long. We're really not looking at any flooding concerns or anything like that. Just those greenish colors indicating the lightest of rainfall. Same story south of I-10. We're looking at a little bit of that light, light rainfall there for Terlingua, Big Bend, all the way down to the south of Brewster County. Really not a whole lot of activity there, except some much needed rain for that national park. Now, the reason that some of this is kicking off, the reason that we've got a lot of that cloud cover is this high pressure now moving off to the east, way out of the way, very, very far away from us here in West Texas. So it's not reaching to us. No high pressure influence anymore. We're going to start to see our temperatures popping up, start to see a little bit more cloud cover roll in, and we'll also see a little bit of those high winds today picking up to about 20 plus miles per hour, even here across the basin. Now, as that high pressure skirts off to the east, that's going to a little more cloud cover in there for today looking a little bit cloudy by this afternoon we will see the sunshine peek through for a little while but we'll also see high temperatures picking up to about 75 76 degrees here in odessa midland this model showing about 74 degrees so i think it's running a little bit cool at least in the basin Notice Wink picking up to 79, Pecos at 87 degrees. So a very warm day, especially considering we just made it into the new season. We just jumped into spring, and we're already seeing temperatures near 90 degrees. Now, as we get to tomorrow morning, we're going to see that humidity kind of take over, not allow our temperatures to drop down too low. So while we will be in the 50s and 60s, it's not going to be as cool, as cold as it should be for this time of the year. We've got those nice mild conditions, I guess left over from that high pressure, so still a little bit of influence. So mild afternoon high temperatures breezy winds though will be picking up remember about 20 plus miles per hour and those winds actually could lead us to some rain chances a little bit later on today we're looking at some very very windy conditions in some places but generally those wind arrows are pointing in out of the south and east that'll work to pull in moisture from the gulf of mexico keeping our dew points high that's the absolute reason that our humidity levels are really high right now as we get to around 12 noon wind speeds above average not too bad but after that once we get into the afternoon Notice some of these wind speeds picking up to near 25 miles per hour sustained with gusts even higher than that. So it is going to be a fairly windy day today. We'll see those winds increasing on as we get to around this afternoon. Odessa Midland a little bit tamer than some of the rest of us picking up to about 20 plus miles per hour by 12 noon and staying there for most of the day. Now, we've got a lot of cloud cover out there. I've got a little bit of shower activity there in Big Bend. This model doing a great job at picking up on that. So it gives me a lot of confidence going forward. By the time we get to 12 noon, we could see some light isolated showers there across the northern basin. But other than that, we're really not looking at a whole lot of rain chances. I think where we're seeing some of the hottest temperatures, places like Pecos, where we're hitting near 87 degrees by this afternoon, we could be looking at some rain chances out that way. I'll keep my eyes on it, but I really don't expect any severe weather. If we do get a thunderstorm, It'll just be one of those afternoon pop-up thunderstorms, not really bringing any large hail or damaging winds or anything, just regular thunderstorms. Now, 76 will be our high temperature today, 83 tomorrow. Odessa Midland staying dry both days, but as we get to Friday, 87 degrees, that's going to be hot enough to kick off maybe a thunderstorm or two mm -hmm. in the afternoon time, just like what we have today in the Trans-Pecos. Okay. So, by the time we get there, we'll have a better handle on it, but I really don't expect any severe weather at any point. Just looks like a regular pop-up shower, pop-up thunderstorm by Friday afternoon. And then we get a cold front Saturday, cooling us down to the 60s for Saturday and the 50s for Sunday. So kind of a chilly weekend. Yeah, kind very interesting. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'll take the 87 degrees, hold off on the thunderstorms if you I can. Gotcha. Can you make that happen if possible? I mean, I'd like to go outside. Okay, He's I think I did it. Really I think hard. I did it. I think I got it. Okay. I felt something change. I don't know what it was. <laughs> well, fingers crossed because I'd love to go to the pool that day. Yeah, crazy. that would be pretty nice. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thanks for those updates, Chase. But now it's time to see what's happening this morning in sports.